Okay, welcome to Crackers and Milk. This is your host, David. Did you I'm just say Crackers and Milk? Cracker. Sorry. <laughs> crackers in milk. Nice. Milk. Milk. The beverage from a cow. Yes. What kind of crackers, by the way? Saltine crackers. Hmm. And you have to have it with sugar. Don't knock it until you try it. It's good. Never tried it. I oh, will try. It is very good. Crackers. But you have to have a correct amount of sugar because it's not very good if it doesn't have the correct amount of sugar. It's actually kind of gross. Is Just this a, a widely known thing? I've never no. heard of saltine crackers uh, with no. sugar and milk. My my dad did it. You my need to listen to a dentist Dave of discourse about it. Yeah. Like this. My dad did it, and so like uh, we just have done it. But I've talked to people who have done it, so we weren't the only ones that were weird. Well, yeah, whatever. Okay, Jacob has our synopsis for our the movie we're doing. The movie we're doing today, Rogue One, yes. a Star Wars story. Former scientist Galen Urso lives on a farm with his wife and young daughter, Jin. His peaceful, his peaceful existence comes crashing down when the evil Orson Ken, uh, Krennic takes him away from his beloved family. Many years later, Galen becomes the Emperor's lead engineer for the most powerful weapon in the galaxy, the Death Star. Bum, bum, bum. Knowing that her father holds the key to its destruction, Jin joins forces with a spy and other resistant fighters to steal the space station's plan for the Rebel Alliance. Hmm. They made a whole movie out of one line <laughs> from The Crawl in episode four. Pretty amazing. Isn't, isn't it, oh, we, what was it? Was it the line where they said, um, I don't remember exactly. A lot of people died for this? No, that was, in, no. that was when they got the, the plans. The plans for the second Death Star. No. Yes. Oh. Who are you talking to, Dave? Jacob. Yeah. And I am the King Geek in this circle. True, true. You got me on that one. You got me on that one. My bad, my bad. Okay, so 2016, it came out in 2016. Um, the f- top one was Captain America Civil War at $1.15 billion. And then Rogue One was one point oh five billion. Um then Finding Dory, Zootopia, The Jungle Book, Top Five Disney. Of I was course. gonna say, wow. And then six is the Secret Life of Pets, Batman versus Superman, um, The Dawn of Justice, and then f- uh eight was Fantastic Beast One, the Her- the better okay. Harry Potter series. Um then nine Whatever. Deadpool. And then ten Suicide Squad at seven four seven hundred forty six point eight million Suicide Squad. It is the better series. Huh. I disagree that second one was hard to watch. <laughs> mm. Harry Potter's harder to watch than that one. Disagree. <laughs> Can't disagree. Mike. In- Mike. <laughs> money, money, money. 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 All right, all right. Rogue One. <laughs> all right, the budget was two hundred million. Uh, opening weekend, one hundred and fifty-five million in the U.S. The U.S. total, five hundred thirty-two million. Worldwide, like you said, one point zero five billion. So the budget, 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 budget of two hundred million with a profit of one point zero five billion resulted in an increase of five hundred twenty-eight percent. Okay, do you think it's partly also like why this one didn't do well? Is because it is a Star Wars. It's it's an offshoot, but also it didn't have the follow like the normal Star Wars. I think it did very well. I mean, it almost made it back its budget in its opening weekend. True, but the the percentages went down. And I know percentages we're, yeah. are going down. I know we're mm-hmm. going to talk about this later. With uh, what are we going to talk about? Uh, Solo. Because yeah. Solo was May. A lot of these were December release dates. Yeah. Oh, well, and I know that. Huh. It, yeah. Anyway. So. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We'll talk more about that. Yeah. We'll talk, more, talk about more about the that. um why 
why we think it's why it didn't go well. Yeah. Okay. All right, we will get into that. Yes. Or listening to interesting facts <laughs> about the Star Wars story. We are actually going to be talking about Rogue One because it came out in 2016 after um, Force Awakens. Force Awakens. So, in know, the in the timeline of things, it's before. Af- well, after no, it's it's after three, but right before four. Yeah, so th- like three point nine. Yes, uh, because one line in the the screen crawl. Yep. Of, of episode four mm-hmm. is this movie is this movie yep yeah. so it's just whoosh. yeah okay yeah. literally one line so people know that it's right there <laughs> and <laughs> who would have thought that one line of text could lead to, to a whole possibly <laughs> the best Star Wars movie of all time well, now that that's eat. hard to say for me because yeah, I love because the Empire, Empire Strikes, Strikes, Strikes yes, Back. Sir. I'm surprised that you would say that this is the best, better than that. It possibly. Well, what would make it not better than Empire Strikes Back? Uh, I don't know. If you just if say I would have saw it when I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. But, I can see that. What did you? What was like interesting things about this movie that you liked? One thing that I would like to bring up, I went and watched it, I think, with my brothers or something like mm-hmm. that. My older brother said that he was bothered by it not having the normal Star Wars scroll. That didn't bother me. It didn't bother you. But, like, why did they choose not to have that? Because they didn't They had, didn't have it in this one. This is the only one that they didn't have it in. In Solo, they had it. Did they? Yeah. Mm. I want to say they did. It's been a minute since I've seen Solo. Yeah, I think Solo. Like, this is the only one that didn't have the scroll. I was okay with it. And it was interesting. I was okay with it. Okay. What uh, made you like this movie? I don't know. The the movie's just so tense. From the very beginning to the end, right? Yeah, you just... What? Yeah, you are. Man, it's just... Oh, are they... How are they going to get the plans? I know they get them, but how are they going to get how the are plans? They going to get to them? Yeah. Are they going to survive? Yeah. Mm. They don't survive. Don't spoil it for me. Well, spoiler alert. Uh, the movie came now. out three years ago. Hey, you never know. Somebody could have not watched then it. Then put spoilers in, 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 in <laughs> the description. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even if you spoil it. Like, it's not even spoiling. Well, I guess a little bit, but it's still so good. It's still so good. Now, could it be because this is just the technical side, directed not by a J.J. Abrams, not by George Lucas, not by da-da, directed by nobody we know, Yeah. produced by nobody we know, screenplay by nobody we know. Well, if you go into it. (laughs) Sorry. Hey, I did it too, so so that feels bad. It. Is it just because it's a- it added new blood, like in directing and with screenplaying and with producing? It just added new blood to the series where people weren't as bothered by it as... Or because they brought something new and they have this one offshoot of um, the main story. They can really add they whatever, do whatever they want to do with it. Yeah. Do you want to know what's interesting? What? Is the... The final battle on uh, what's the name that yeah. that planet? The, that the water planet. planet. The yeah. water, the <laughs> most green she's ever seen. The they took scenes of female pilots that were cut from Return of the Jedi yeah. and used them in Rogue One. Really? Yeah. Huh. So when when they're fighting and one of the the female pilots says, "We're not making a, an effect on it." Yeah. That's because she was hitting the Death Star. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. So. Why, why would they do that? Why would they, you know, use that stuff? Why not? No. Was, and they took was, unused uh, scenes of the Red red Leader yeah. and put it in this. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Red Leader? What's Red Leader? So, I've never heard of Red Leader. You've never heard of... No. Never the, sorry, folks. I have to educate Dave. That's all right. It's yeah. uh, it's clearly 
Zangief from uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, Red leader. Zangief. <laughs> Zangief. Love him in uh, Wreck It Ralph. So <laughs> there's right. there's the groups of ships. There's the yellow, there's red, and mm-hmm. there's blue. Okay. You know, in uh, uh, A New Hope, Luke becomes Red 5. Oh, okay. And so instead yeah. of Red 1, there's oh. Red Leader. So they used original footage of Red Leader from the, uh, New Hope for that. Yeah. Wow. And That's it cool. shows he survives the battle, and but it, it, they made oh. a point of showing a Red Five dying. Mm. That's cool. So there was a vacancy so for Luke. 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 So Luke. Wow. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. That's so the, there's Red Squadron, there's it's Gold mm-hmm. Squadron, not Yellow. Do do they have? Is this does this have really? Does this do you feel have good dogfights in the airplane? This or no? might that might be why I think it's the best. Is that the dog fight? The dog fight, the the battle above the the final battle. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that the one where they did the hammerhead yeah. ship. I was like, what? And then they ripped one whole thing off. You're just like, yeah, that whoa. It was so cool. And, like, also, so I was watching it a little bit before just to spark some memory, spark some things. When a fir- when a Star Destroyer came in at first, mm. it, it it's probably CGI, but at the same time, like, it really looked like a model. It like did. Like, the old models that you're just like, oh, that, yeah. that looks like a real old model, like a model that they used a long time ago to do that special when, effect. So when it's it, like... When it shows it the, the the laser cannon for the Death Star being put in and so yeah. you see the TIE fighter flying and then it slowly reveals the yeah. the Star Destroyer and then it dis- uh, re- reveals the yeah. Death Star. Man. When they destroy the holy city. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was just, just like, like whoa. whoa. Because you've never se- all you saw... Is yeah. a planet. Is it a planet from a distance? Yeah. You didn't see how it happened. Yeah. Yeah. And it it's interesting how they were able to because in my mind when I when you watch the Death Star, that's all it could do is destroy a planet. It can't do anything else. Yeah. But with Rogue One it shows that it can do more than just destroy a planet where yeah. you can turn down the power a little bit. And yeah. still kill a population, yeah, exactly, or a, a, a metropolitan area, and kill whatever's there. Yeah, I thought that was like, whoa, that's that's really interesting, and it becomes more versatile than what it was in, yeah, A New Hope. Yeah, and the CGI of Tarkin was okay. Ah, it was better than Leia. Yeah. Everything like was if you're than Leia. Com- if you're comparing Tarkin's CGI to Leia's CGI, yeah. his was the better one. Yeah, if, yeah I if, could still tell. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you could still tell, but it was with Leia's. It was so plastic, and it, it was, was so uh, yeah. Ugh, it, it wasn't good, but with Tarkin, it was plastic, but it wasn't as bad. Um, it was good. I remember seeing it the first time. I was like, oh. Well, yeah. That's, that's not bad. I think it was I the lighting was too. Like yeah. all the lighting for him is not kind that dark, bright, yeah. beautiful light that and yeah. I can see it. She's the princess, and it has to be bright. But yeah. uh, the shadows help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did they even need to show her? No, face? no, they didn't. They didn't need to they show didn't her face. Show her at all? No. Yeah. Because yeah. she could have just said, "You heard her." Oh, we have a new hope, or you yeah. know, whatever she said, a new hope. And then you're like, oh, this Leia. is hope. Yeah. yeah, like, and that's yeah. it's like, oh, that, that's cool. Like, Leia. Yeah. it could have just been an arm out of a hallway. Here you go, Princess. Dada, and she says something. You're like, yeah. oh, they're giving it to Princess Leia. And, and then it, it the the camera follows the arm as she's turning around, yes. and so all you see is her back. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. genius. But I didn't write this movie. I didn't direct it, and it's yeah. still awesome. Still, still the, good. Like, I love the the dogfight in Return of the Jedi, mm-hmm. but this one, I don't know. This just has something to it that, oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah. No, and it, 
I, I think I remember reading an article about it where it talked about how um, you were able to see the spy part of it. Mm-hmm. Where you had, um, what was the pilot's name? The guy that... Was, Brody. No, 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 not the... not the Talking about Cassian? Cassian. Where he killed. Yeah. Like, even with supposedly the good side. Yeah. He killed. And then the guy also told him, you need to kill... Yeah, um, Galen or so. Galen, Galen or yeah. so. And you also need to... Didn't he say you also need to kill the um, the other guy that she needed? They got her for the guy. The I don't know his name. It's the black guy. That's all I know. Oh, Saul Guerrero. Saul oh, Guerrero. Guerrero. Didn't didn't he also say he was supposed to kill him? I don't remember. I d- yeah, I, maybe I, I, I don't I misremember so. that one. Just I know Galen. they don't. They don't trust Saul Guerrero because yeah. he's. He's yeah. crazy, pretty yes. much. And he's a character from the Clone Wars. Oh. Nice. So they got him. The in, Clone Wars. They <laughs> got him from. Yeah, they were able that, to get him from that, that. character. And uh, it showed in and the. That's the TV series, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It showed in the Clone Wars how him fighting against the. the not the clone army, the, the, the robot army. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How he went a little Fighter. bit further mm. than was necessary. And so he so was you, using you were, wilder and wilder tactics. You were able to see the split, yeah. like what it talks about in here, where they talk about the split from him. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Oh, I see. But Felicity see, Jones is Jane Erso. She she does good. You you believed really her. Mm-hmm. You believed her. Yep. yep. Totally believed her. I liked her. Um, I did like the robot, too. K2SO. Yeah. K2SO is awesome. He, yes. I, I think. I, I cried. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a lot. I think the first time I saw this in droid sense him and the droid in solo. Yeah. Probably two yes. of my favorite droids. Yeah. yeah. Two of my favorite like C three PO is good and R two D two is wonderful. I like R two D two. But like the two on the K two S O great and the one in solo. Yeah. I think those Blanking guys are, on the name at the moment. Yeah. But. Those two um, are real. Like, they. Yeah. Are, when uh, he died. C3PO. Oh, oh I, I cried. I, I started crying when the robot died. <laughs> but you rooted for him. And, like, same thing with Jen, like, where she didn't care about him. And then she started caring yeah. about him. Like, oh, here's the blaster. Yeah. yeah. He's like, what, what? You see, it's the little moments like that yeah. that make this mo- movie practically perfect. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I do like that. I do like um, the council where yeah. they get together. Um, I do. Okay. I want to ask that bl- redheaded girl. The Mon- redheaded Martha? Lady? Yeah. It, is she related to the one that was in the New Hope in the original? She wasn't in a New Hope. She was in Return of Jedi. Wait, wait, who's this redhead? Wait, 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 so, wait, wait. The one in the in the white thing. Yeah. I thought that's who said oh, in Yep. She's in Return of the Jedi. That's the first time you see her because in uh, Family Guy they make a joke about it when they do the Return of the Jedi. Yeah. And Lois uh, is Princess Leia yeah. and when Mon Motha comes out she's like, "What's another woman doing here?" <laughs> oh. That's where she says in, the, in that part with new plans of the de- their new Death the, Stars. The like, new Death Star where the Bothan spies, many Bothan spies died to bring us this. Ooh. Do you think they'll make another movie like that? I don't think they should. I don't think that they should. Do you think they will, though? They might. Because, th- honestly, this would be that. This movie would it, be that. It would pretty much be a sequel. Yeah. yeah. Did Why you, would you do that then? Because this is a really good movie. Did you hear about the TV series that they're going to do with uh, Cassian and K2SO? Really? A prequel on Disney Plus? Oh, oh no. I yeah. guess I'll be watching that. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully. Hopefully it's good. Well, if it's anything like The Mandalorian, it's going to be good. I know, but you only, you know. That's going to. 
I don't know how long they're going to last, get that one to last, but it's a good show. Yeah. But anyways, back to Rogue One. Yeah. There's just so many little parts of this that Mm -hmm. make it so good. Yeah. Like the total fan service of the the two criminals Mm -hmm. that, you know, Obi-Wan cuts off the the hand of the guy in in A New Hope (laughs) and it it turns from a a clove to a, a... you know, yeah. fingers, but they're, you know, walking around the holy city. Yep. That was cool. You're just like, I remember seeing that. And I was like, wait, yeah, what? that's that, the ugly guy. That, that was fan service, yeah. but it was still awesome to see. Mm-hmm. Another fan service was C3PO and R2D2 at the base. I feel mm-hmm. that wasn't needed. Wait, they were in those in that part. I don't remember yeah. seeing them. So when they're going, when they realize what's going down yeah. and they're sending the fleet in, mm. they, it shows them, go, well, what to, uh, well, yeah. I can't remember, uh, but I don't feel like they were needed. They're not, I don't, yeah, I would agree with that. They wouldn't be needed. But there but, was, there was other things I, I forgot to look for as I was watching this. Mm-hmm. So the TV series Rebels, yeah. uh, their robot, Chopper, is seen in a scene. Oh. And then... That's cool. It also, over the intercom, they call for a Captain Sandula. Uh Uh-huh. That's from Rebels. And then I forgot to look for her ship in the battle over... Scarif. That's what it was. Scarif. That's the island... Yeah. The the planet that they were going. Yeah. Okay. But... So, I mentioned in the last episode, the force feeling... Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. The... The blind uh, temple guard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He wasn't a Jedi Knight, but he could feel the force. The force is with... I am one with the force. The, the force, force is with, with me. me. Yeah. And it showed what he could do, what a force-feeling person can do. He walked across that full yeah. field and with blasters, yeah. and he yeah. didn't get hit. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was able to use the force to be able to shoot things without seeing it. Like... Yeah. On the, the rainy planet. On the rainy planet, yep. He shoots that TIE fighter mm-hmm. that knocks out the cannon. Yeah. So the rebel fleet uh, can escape. Huh. So you're saying Han Solo is like that. So it yeah. actually backs up Han Solo's... He can feel the force. He but, can't use it, but he can feel the force. Yeah. And, and this so it guy, gives him a little bit better dexterity than... Because, and way back in the Phantom Menace, Anakin Skywalker can do the pod racing because he can feel the Force. Can feel the Force. Yeah. So it seems like the Force might have a degree of. It might be just like uh, helping your skill set. Yeah. I think that's what it comes down to. The Force. If you want to use it to fight with a lightsaber, you mm-hmm. become a Jedi. If you want to. Use the force to. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, I'm, because I'm, even. Well, okay, anyways. Ray, yes, I know. Ray, but Ray, at the same time, moving rocks. Yes, <laughs> moving rocks. But at the same time, um, Finn uses a lightsaber and he just does it and he just fights. He just fights and he does pretty well. He does well. Yeah, hey, he was trained as but a fighter. He wasn't I don't trained know as why. A fighter. I don't yeah. know why they somewhat they trained, trained as their a fighter. janitor. Yeah, yeah, that's the, the weird part. Yeah, was it what? He mopped the floors. Or yeah. Uh, uh, for the we are totally going to have to talk about that in Last Jedi. Cause yeah, it's so we, we will. But yeah. Oh, this movie was just so good and so heart-wrenching. When Brody gets the transmission off to Admiral... Akbar or whatever. No, it's not Akbar. It's like R- Rash Band or something. Yeah. Because, interesting fact, the name of Akbar's ship... Yeah. In Return of the Jedi is named after that guy. Oh, it is. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Because he because was he was the hero of the rebellion. Vader Vader or they disabled that ship. They disabled his ship so that he can go get the plans. Yeah. Why didn't they just blow it up? Because it would have been too easy. No, they needed to get the, the the plans back. Well, well, I know they need to get the plans back, but you could destroy a ship. Would it destroy it? Wouldn't it? 
What if they send off an escape pod that gets to another ship? Which they did. In the plans. How strong are force fields? I know I'm going off topic again. The here. shields? Wait, then how far is Tatooine <laughs> to this other place that they just did? Because then there's no... F- whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Okay. Talk, wait, wait, talk wait. To Never me, Dave. mind. Never talk, mind. Talk to me, Dave. Now I get it. Because at the end of Rogue One, she does light speed, so she's away. Yeah. They, whoa, wait, 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 wait. But they aren't supposed to be able to track them, so how do they track them? Wait, 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 wait. In, in <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking. So, there is a throwaway line in Rogue One. Oh, man. Okay. Where they're looking for the plans, and she yeah. just starts naming off things, and one of the right. things she names yes. is hyperspace tracking. Yeah. Oh. Nice. So it was something that the Empire that. was trying to develop. Even at that time? Even at that time. Wait, 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 wait. And we'll so talk more were... about that in The Last Jedi. Well, I know <sighs> we'll talk more about that, but... That's cool. It plays a huge role in this part mm-hmm. to get to episode four. Yeah. Tracking. But... Because at the end, boom, hyperspace. They aren't supposed to do be able to do that, but they do that. So... I don't know if they used a like a beta version of it, to, mm. but just to give it a shot and that yeah. sort of thing. But hmm. Vader obviously chases him down, and okay. So okay, uh, okay. Tell me the balls of those guys who go and stand in the the doorway to oh shoot as the stormtroopers come through after they watch their buddies get chopped to pieces. By Dar- Darth freaking Vader, oh in one of the goodness. scariest scenes. Yeah, that uh, honestly, that's my favorite Darth Vader scene. When, when he throws that guy up on the wall, and then he just whoosh, cuts him in half. Yep. He walks past him and does it. You're just like, what? The? And they're still shooting. Yeah, and they're yep. just. But then you know, in A New Hope, they just saw all their buddies get massacred, and they still go get ready to shoot and. Dude, Vader, like, I, I, I've i said it before in, in one of them or whatever, still, I now I understand why he was the most vile and wicked and, like, fear, f- fearful person. Mm-hmm. Fear, like, what he became, like <laughs> what you've said, the best movie villain, but, like, he really was like lost and into the dark side and just yeah. didn't care. Like I get it with three where he killed all the younglings and all oh. that stuff, but whatever with that one, this really to me showed Vader's a bad dude. Yes. Just a bad dude. You don't want to mess with him at all. Yeah. At all. Oh, awesome. Would Love you say that, that, that uh, going back, so Revenge of the Sith, does, <laughs> that's his, his character's developing even in there, that yeah. he's, he's a bad guy. Yeah. And that's going to, now we've got Kylo Ren, who's supposed to be stronger than Vader, but doesn't come across. The Maybe the Force Kylo. is stronger with him, <laughs> but he doesn't have that. You mean his midichlorian count is off the, uh, <laughs> off the charts? <laughs> off the charts. <laughs> but at a, the same time, like he wasn't like... He didn't have the same life experiences as... But, and yeah. they, you have to also remember that Vader, in revenge, killed sand people because of his ma. Oh, yeah. Like, not, he just, not, like... No, not in revenge. Or out of anger, frustration. In Attack of the Clones. Attack yeah, of the clones. in okay. the Attack of yeah. the Clones. Yeah. He goes and kills sand people, a whole yeah. tribe of them. Yeah. He kind of feels bad, but at the same time... He still skates over how bad he should be feeling. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, that dude's bad. Yeah. And then, like... But he kills him. He's not like Kylo Ren who says, okay, stormtroopers kill this whole thing. He doesn't yeah. do it. Yeah. He yeah. just walks away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I think with Vader, he just... De- well, we've talked about him developing even yeah. nastier. He's just nasty. Yeah. But, oh, man. That shows you what Vader could do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is why 
a imagine that reimagined fight between oh. him and Kenobi in in A New Hope. If you, if you haven't seen that and YouTube Star Wars reimagined, I forget I wonder, the numbers, but but I wonder because they're going to do a Ben Kenobi. Yeah, Kenobi. Ken, yeah, Kenobi series, right? Yeah. I wonder if they'll do something like that. Where they'll have a, a couple more fights. Him, and, him a, and Vader? Him and Vader. No, it, no it, won't, it won't show him and Vader. Why? Vader never went to Tatooine again. Uh, he doesn't mean that Obi-Wan didn't leave. He didn't leave. Hey, you never know. I do know. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Jake, what you don't know is uh, Dave is writing for this series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And writers yeah. can do whatever they sure. want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Canon, yeah, legend. Yeah, right. <laughs> I say, yeah, right to that. I do not believe that one one bit. You ben had to go know, find so. the nearest McDonald's. It was on Tatooine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he had to watch over Luke. Yep. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a distance. <laughs> sure, Jake. It was a distance. A distance overlook. No. He still had to. Luke still had to guess. Oh, is that Ben Kenobi? Yeah. Huh. So he'd yeah. heard. He heard. So how of old he... old man Kenobi. Anyways, anyways, I think I think the reason we go to these other because this story is all kind of really connected to that. So it has so it's, it's, yeah, it's connected. it shows Mon Martha talking to Jimmy Smith's character. I can't remember the character's Organa, name. Organa, Senator Organa. Yeah, saying, "What about your Jedi friend? Yeah. We need we need to get him." Yeah. And. So he says, I will send someone I trust very much. And, you know, he sends Leia. Yeah, yeah I trust her with my life. Yeah. And she obviously doesn't complete the mission. Her droids do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In an escape pod, which mm-hmm. should, should have been shot. Should have. Should have. Should have been shot. But should have. They didn't, which is okay. It was tiny. I don't know. No, they, they didn't detect life forms on yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, so oh in a galaxy that has droids, they should know these things. They people. should. They should. But, anyways, it's we're not talking about a new hope. We're talking about <laughs> Rogue One. Is there anything else? Okay. Oh, so I wanted to ask about the force fields. How do force fields work? Because when they're at that planet, yeah, the planet the, covers the whole 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 planet. Well, that hammerhead, right, hits the star huh. cruiser, pushes it. Well, how's it hitting it? They can't get lasers and stuff to whoa, penetrate whoa, it. But whoa, whoa, wait physical... a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. No, they've that's what I'm trying... done... I know, but they've always done this, like, because we'll talk about it in The Last Jedi. In The Last Jedi, Kylo Ren goes in to the ship and shoots and blows things up. And, like, you know, even in episode one, um, Anakin goes into a place and shoots, like accidentally shoots and blows up a thing and they blow up the inside, right? Yeah, the command ship of yeah. the droid army. So it's like, yeah, they've done this. They've done that. They've done it. So that's weird to me, though. But I'm just wondering. Also, that one was dead, though. The one that they shot, the one that they used the hammerhead to do, that one was dead. And then it was like pushed into in the, the other one. one yeah. But the other one, did it have a force field and why didn't it Probably. protect it? So... I don't know. That's doesn't maybe it, too technical. Doesn't it only work? Doesn't it only work? It only when works it sh- against lasers? energy. Yeah. That, that would be my guess. Is that it's an energy shield that blocks Reflects other energy. energy. Yeah, and that's the only thing that would make sense, right? And so when he they get the they blow up, they shoot the one uh, star destroyer with ion ion bombs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which how bombers should work in Star Wars? We'll get that in the Last Jedi. Yes. But and so their ship is dead, and so he gets the hammerhead uh, Corvette, and it pushes it into the other Star Destroyer, 
and we'll talk even more about shields in the Last Jedi yes, because there's will. something yes, that happens there's something very, that happens there too. There, there, and yes. so the 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 gravity of the planet pulls both of the pulls broken yep. uh, into the shield configuration ring. You know the gate, and it destroys the the shield, right? Huh. The planet wide shield, right? So interesting. So interesting. This this movie just had so much. Did you know they actually? Shot scenes where they survive. Shut up. Yeah. They do? Yeah. They didn't think Disney would allow them to kill off all the major characters. Wow. But Disney said, no, go for it. See, and that's I want to see that one. See, that's the <laughs> in, one. In the trailer, it shows it. Really? It that shows her live. running with the plans in her hands out onto a beach, and there's a, a ATST walker. Or an ATAT walker, I don't remember which one, firing at, and she's firing up at it, and uh, her and Cassian are running along the beach. Wow. Hmm. And so, yeah, that wasn't in the movie, but it was in the trailer. So I know the the scenes exist, but I I read that. Would you would you rather have them live or die? So I think to me it did. Me too. Alive. Why? <laughs> so here. Here's how I thought the movie okay. was going to end, and I think the people uh, of how it should have ended Got it right. uh, were, were like me. Okay. When they're on the beach and they see that wave coming for them, yep. I was waiting for K2SO to have downloaded himself into the other robot uh-huh. and him fly a ship and pick him up. I was oh, waiting wow. for that. And then when they just start holding each other tighter and tighter, I was like, oh, come on, where's the robot? Where's the robot? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was poetic that they died. You kind of had to because yeah. they don't show up in the other movies. Yeah. But th- it wouldn't have stopped them from Well, even if they li- even if they lived, yeah. they're not going to be they don't how many rebellion fighters are there? How Yeah. Exactly. It's, exactly. Yeah. There's so many. This was just a little separatist group that was able to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, when the 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 second council, or is that the first council where they're the the admiral fish guy? I can't remember his name. Yes, that guy. It's like we need to fight. We need to fight. Yeah. And then all the other guys are like, "No, we no, can't. we can't yeah. fight. No, we gotta. We need to just, just disband." And, and the, so that oh. Yeah. Everything about this movie I love. I I lo- I like the movie a lot. I really did like this movie a lot. Um I, and to me what saved it most was Darth Vader and then I did like the bad guy in it. Um uh, Orson Krennic. Yeah, I really liked him. Like he was a really bad guy and like I've always liked him as a bad guy. Like yeah. that actor as a bad guy. Um Tarkin was a really good bad, you know, the normal bad yeah. guy too, and where he kind of undercutted, um, Krennic, Krennic, and taking over the Death Star and yeah. that sort of thing. Like yeah. that was like, oh wow, shows you, you know, the infighting in the Emperor mm-hmm. Empire. Yeah. yeah, and where it was like very um, political, underhanded, mm-hmm. all at the same time. Like it, it was never. It's not a. It's never a clear cut. Oh, this is this is the power. This is you yeah. know like um, Vader. Yeah, he was powerful. He was a sick hand man. And then the Emperor, sure. But like these other smaller players or the yeah well, trying I, to get higher and higher and all and that they're stuff. Like, that's oh, hey, we did this to the planet. Blah blah blah. Vader, are you going to tell the Emperor that I did that? Make yeah. sure you tell him. He's like, shut up, yeah. you more. And I love yeah. that because he's just like starts choking him. Yes. Yeah. It's not about getting yourself better. It's about winning. It's yeah. about winning. And yeah. I lo- that's what makes Vader so yeah. ruthless. It's yeah. all mm-hmm. about winning. It's not about who cares, who yeah. has what authority. Yeah. So the old type of old school approach. And so if you're in a dogfight in Star Wars, make yeah. sure you're not overweight. Why do all the over <laughs> all the overweight guys die, don't they? Or people always. always. So in, in A New Hope... The overweight guy is one of the the first to die, yeah. and they actually gave the names 
Porkins. <laughs> <laughs> and so Porkins. Wa- watching Rogue One, I was like, oh, that guy's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when uh, the the blue group gets mm-hmm. into the planet and starts, yeah. you think they're going to win. Oh, yeah, totally. You think they're going to get off the planet and, mm-hmm. and oh. And they don't. It's nuts. And, that, and, that's, one, and that's why there's not a blue group in, in A New Hope. In a New Hope. Maybe they, one or two escaped, but then they just got absorbed into red or gold. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, our cliffhanger, our key moment, and our scene stealer. Well, the cliffhanger is them handing the plans to Leia. And I, I, know, I know it's not really a cliffhanger because you know what happens after that, but... I think some of the cliffhanger for me, though, is her trying to get the plans to them. Yeah. Like, that whole kind of scene. I know it's oh, not yeah. one scene, but I'm like... Oh, it was so intense. I'm when... like... Ugh. Even trying to... I know that going up through the tower and that thing opening yeah. and closing, I'm like, oh, my gosh, yeah. get through this. Yeah. You're so close. Like, that's so... That's so intense, and it's just one little part. Is it one little part? <laughs> Uh, the cliffhanger in this book, Imperial Weapons head Orson Krennic holds Galen Urso and his team at gunpoint, urging Urso to confess his betrayal of the Empire. That's not a cliffhanger. Who wrote this magazine? I don't know. It's Hollywood Spotlight. Okay. I got it, man. It's just the fun. Thing. I I mean, yeah, it's kind of stupid. That's not really a like cliffhanger. Like, I think they've they don't understand cliffhanger. The word cliffhanger. Yeah. Because every cliffhanger that they've done, it's like, wait a minute. Yeah. That's a stupid cliffhanger. That's not a cliffhanger at all. Yeah. Okay, key moment, though. What would be key moment for you guys? Two. Saw Guerrera watching the incoming wave of destruction coming yeah. to him and him realizing that his fight is over and yeah. he just gives up. Mm-hmm. Them holding each other on the beach as mm-hmm. the wave of destruction comes to them, realizing... They did what they could do, and they they fought the good fight, and they died heroes. Yeah. What do you think, Mike? I don't know. Maybe the key moment is the pilot who has to bring the plans. Mm. Key moment I is like is finding him in the prison though. When Cassian's, you're a pilot. You're yeah. the pilot. Uh, okay, this is the key moment because. Now we know that the plans are here. Where are they? Da, 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 yeah. Because otherwise, if they didn't know True. that. True. True. Brody. 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 Yeah. Brody. Bro, bro. They said the key moment, according to them, Darth Vader has his most violent crush is the rebellion. Mm, I could see that. It's a good moment. I would say that was my key moment. Is that because then I was able to see Vader at his deadliest? But... Those other key moments too, like yours and yours, yeah, yeah, I, key moments. Those yeah. were key moments in the movie to make it a better movie and to make it more entertaining and appealing. Mm-hmm. Right? Scene stealer, K two S show. Oof, yeah, I don't know what a good scene stealer is. You, Dave? Um, they said it was K two S O. The Imperial oh. Service Droid reprogrammed by the yeah. Rebels. I think that that was very like still yeah. the one of the best because this movie of the has, Star well, Wars could most be the, movies. The Blind Monk was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. He, he was, was good. Yeah. He was a good Are you kidding me? Like, I'm blind. Yeah. <laughs> right. And he, when he, they put the bag over his face, oh, I love that. And he added humor to it, where yeah. it was just really yeah, the, good. But both both K two S O and and the Blind Monk and his yeah. protector. Added a certain amount of humor to this, yep. but it's the, this was a tense movie. Very. They they added humor, but they also added at parts where they were tense too. Yeah, where they had to be tense, like when they um, she K two S O locked him in to get yeah. the plans. That was really tense, yeah. like in when, the when death scene and when all he that sacrificed thing. himself, and I cried and I cried and I cried. And then with the blind guy, um, where it was a very te- he he did he added his funny moments, but it was tense when, when he went to go. He had to go turn uh, that the, thing, the master switch on, and, and then, then it was the freaking me out when he got to the master yeah. switch, and he's like, 
He's like, he's got all this force to go past all of these things, but he can't put his hand on it. Yeah. He like is like tapping. I'm like, ah, find it. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. when Brody gets the message out, mm-hmm. yeah. and then the stormtrooper tosses the grenade yeah. in, and he's just like, oh, oh, yeah. that is awful. Yeah. See, yeah. And like that, oh. like those moments and those, like I thought all of those, like yeah. Brody was a scene stealer because he was a really good actor. Yeah. Those guys stole stuff. They but they they added the funny stuff in, but they also added yeah. tense moments, and they died great. And so this you movie know? reminds me the most of Empire Strikes Back because yeah. of how dark it was. Yeah, I'd agree with that. But it, it oh, was dark. Awesome right. movie. It, right. it, it it added it added a needed element to revitalize even more this series. And so this shows that you don't necessarily need a Skywalker to make a Star Wars movie. Mm-hmm. Nope. No, not at all. You don't need one at all. Because what's Star Wars about? It's not about a name. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's about good and bad. Yeah. yeah. The Force. Yeah. Having what? It surrounds us. It's yeah. it's in everything. It's yeah. in everything. Those microscopic metachlorians. <laughs> no. <laughs> George! <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. Please rate, subscribe, and leave a comment. Um, either on the podcast or about the movie, whatever you'd like to talk about. So thank you. Have a great day.